Yes, hi guys, welcome uh, back to this channel. I want to talk about our sisters and brothers who are working as domestic workers, who are working as maid or nannies or housewives in those families. Sometimes it may not be very easy for you. It may be even tougher than anyone can imagine. Tougher every single day or tougher every small day that someone will talk about. I want to share out something with you. Especially for those people that have tried to run away from, uh, from these houses. What we call the runaway cases. Which are under what we call the fall and search by the CID. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, I'm Nix from the next creation. And I always give you that important information. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give a like. Don't forget to put a comment. I'll always be very grateful. To get back to you yes let us look at runaway cases and i'll look at two situations that i want to share with you regarding runaway cases we have those runaway cases whereby whereby you ran away from your employer or from that house for nearly even two years or one year no one is looking for you you've not even got a message You've not even got a message for, for in Metro or anyone that someone is following you up. But after some time you get nabbed up by police and to get to check, you are automatically in jail for that case. Yes, what are you supposed to do? Yes, most of the times when we tend to, to run away from this home, we run away with mistakes. It may be because of the ego, or it may be because of the mistreatment of the employer, or it may be the urge, the what you call there's so much push fire of, uh, power or what we call the bandwagon or what we call the advices being given to us by people out. Who seemingly in that kind of context say we are doing well off. So you get to share up with that kind of information thinking they are well off outside there, which may not be the case. So you end up being driven by that kind of force, that, that kind of push. You run away and you get to stay outside. So this employer will get hung up. He will go to Metrash and he will get file a case against you. Sometimes some of these employer may even say my items are missing. So that will be questioned by, by police. So normally what happens that, for example, I got one situation that I want to share with you. Most of you have gone into these situations, but you don't know where to go and you cannot help out yourself. Yes, I got a situation of one plane who ran away as for almost one year. He had a case with my trash for run away for fall up and such up. He had a case or run away for that case. He was taken to court and the court ruling for that person was to deportation to run away, to deportation to go home. But before the deportation, remember all the messages when you are to be go court to court. Your employer gets some of, gets these messages. You know what to call me trash. He shares the same message because the ministry will share the same message because it's the same person that go to the country or the same person who is under your visa sponsorship. So this person he had a court ruling of even deportation. He was to be deported in what we call one week. Even the date was stipulated that he will be going. He has to exit the country at that time. This is the same time that the employer, the, the former employer, called him and gave him what we call an offer letter. Uh, what we call an NOC, I beg your pardon. He gave him an NOC. What does that mean? Your employer has given a waiver for you to go. Remember, this is a two situation that you have the court ruling that you're supposed to exit the country. But your former company, he call, the former company calls you and says, please, Mates come for an NOC, you look for another job. What do you think is in between them? What do you have to do as a person? Yes, you need to stay in the country and you have to stay in the country. What do you do? You're a runaway, you have a file case, you already have a ruling for you are supposed to exit the country in the next week. Yes, what normally happens that NOC acts as what you call a waiver. That I no longer have a case against you. You can look for another sponsor to take you out. Why some of these sponsors are doing this? They feel that you've got enough punishment outside there. You are not working, you are not being paid, you are all holding hiding, you don't get what you call a fixed amount of money.
So he say, okay, fine, let me leave you to go. You've got enough punishment outside. He will give you an NOC to serve. However, something that you need to understand, that NOC acts as what you call proof of appeal in the court. So you can go back to court and appeal with that NOC. Now that NOC is going to act as your waiver, meaning that your employer now he has no problem with you. You can get a new sponsor. So go back to the court and appeal that deportation. When you go to that court and put, uh, when you go to that court and appeal with that deportation, they will ask for proof. The proof will be the NOC, which acts as a waiver from your former company. Then you will not have to deport. The court will tell you, we give you 30 days the gross period for you to look for a new sponsor to convert your visa, your work was a sponsorship visa, to a new visa. And once in that period of the 30 gross period I talked about, once you get a new employer who can convert you and get you a new visa, well and good, you will stay in the country, which most of you do not know. So that is normally what happens. But remember, most of the times, some of us will go into even deportation without even first seeking what you call the right information. Hope I've tried to tell to, uh, to, to actually address to you. Yes, even those that think that you've been taken to court, they will ask you, those that have gone to court, they ask you, do you want to go home or you want to pay, to pay overstay charges? For you to stay in the country. Or even, I've attended one court session where they asked you, do you have someone can take you up in a week? Say yes. With proof? Yes, give me seven days, I'll go to the person to get what you call an offer letter. Yes, most of the times in the court, they are willing to let you go. But you are not yet prepared by yourself with man, with the mind, or you've not prepared yourself to make sure that you can bail yourself outside. Or you can bail yourself away from exiting the country but staying in the country and getting a new sponsor to save your soul. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. For people who have really not got this one right, you can come in my inbox. I can try to share with you some of the tips that you can attempt and attempt to share and that can lead you to, to move and can lead you to surface. And sometimes you can get out of these cases without even you knowing. Thank you so much. It's always Max giving you all these updates and giving all this information.